Today I'm going to be talking about Shea Moisture's Deep Treatment Mask. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the company Shea Moisture. I'm going to talk about some of the ingredients in the mask and tell you about my opinion. My name is Sharon. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe below and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. Okay, so let's get started. Shea Moisture used to be a family-run company uh, loved by lots of people. They have since changed a lot um, and they've been involved in some controversy. They have sold out. Um, that's the first thing. They've also made some ads that were pretty controversial and also their labels have changed. Um, people from Shea Moisture, the representatives from Shea Moisture have insisted that the ingredients are the same and they're simply following the INCI labeling standards. Um, other people disagree. Um, some other people have said that now that they've sold out, they're also changing their sources so they're getting cheaper sources. Um, I don't have inside information. I have no idea. Um, I am not going to be purchasing from Shea Moisture again and I'm going to tell you guys why so make sure you watch the rest of this video. Okay, so let's talk about some of the ingredients in this mask. Okay, like most natural products, um, this the first ingredient here is water. So most natural products have uh, water, glycerin, or aloe. Most of them, not all of them. The second ingredient here is shea butter. Uh, shea butter does usually builds up on my hair. I have low porosity hair. Um, that's one reason it's up. It's getting to be winter now, guys. I can't really be bothered. I just bun my hair. Uh, the second ingredient is argan oil. And then after that, you have vegetable glycerine. Now, glycerine, some people stay away from if there are high dew points and low dew points. I'm going to put the information below in the box, um, and you can check it out. Um, after that, you have emulsifying wax. You have the C cup extract. So this product, they highlight three things. Um, the first thing is the C cup extract, the argan oil, and the shea butter. So all of these are major ingredients, okay? They're at the beginning of the ingredient list. Um, after that, you have panthenol, which is B5. And then my favorite ingredient that's in most of Shea Moisture's product is called essential oil blend. Um, this tells us nothing. I recently wrote to Shea Moisture on Facebook and I asked them what was in their essential oil blend because some of their products have essential oil blend and then later on they mentioned more essential oils, more extracts. Um, and I thought, because I know some places, um, I believe Bocome in Europe, they have essential oil blend and they also later on list all the essential oils that are in it and they said that they are legally required to do so in Europe. And I thought it might be similar here, so I wanted to verify and it's not. So they have, they told me it's proprietary, um, which means it's a secret and you have no idea what's in this essential oil blend. Now essential oils are natural, that does not mean they're safe. Lots of things in nature can harm and kill or kill you. Uh, essential oils in particular, if you are in certain populations such as young children, people with pre-existing medical conditions, people on certain medications, um, blood thinners for example, some essential oils can neutralize or cancel out your medication or compound it um, so your medicine is stronger than it actually is. So you really have to be careful with essential oils. Um, some more things in here after that, you've got avocado oil and then you have um, somewhat of a controversial ingredient, two ingredients. You've got honeysuckle flour and Japanese honeysuckle flour extracts. Now, these sound so nice. They're flowers, honeysuckle. It sounds just so amazing and exotic. But if you Google it, and I encourage you guys to look and research yourselves because everybody's requirements are different. If you look up Japanese honeysuckle extract paraben, you will see some people saying that this extract, which seems to be totally natural, actually acts like a paraben does. Um, and I know the paper on parabens has been disproven. They didn't do it very well when they did it decades ago. Now there's more research coming out. Either way, the bottom line is some people avoid parabens. Um, if you're one of those people who does, definitely look into Japanese honeysuckle and honeysuckle extract and see whether this is an ingredient you would also like to avoid. Uh, the other ingredients in here after that, you've got vitamin E, um, and then it starts decreasing. You've got some extracts, and then you have soybean oil at the end, so another carry oil, and the last ingredient is carrot seed oil. So of these, the scent here is mainly um, essential oil blend, and you've got the carrot seed oil and a few extracts. I am one of these people that I will not be repurchasing this product simply because they are hiding their ingredients. Now, I do understand that it's legal. They do not have to declare their fragrance. It is proprietary, which is, you know, uh, a big word for saying secret, that doesn't mean it's ethical. Uh, my daughter did have 
issues with essential oils and um, she didn't even come and she didn't have it put on her directly she simply came in contact with it through me um, so I am very careful what I use on myself now this product I'm going to show you guys what it is um, some other things about Shea Moisture is they are cruelty free so they do not test on animals and um, you can recycle the shelf life of this is 12 months I would be careful about putting this in the shower. I actually had this in the shower. I took it out. The preservatives, and this does have preservatives in here because it has water. Preservatives are amazing. They are uh, fantastic products. The point of preservatives is to prevent your product from growing natural microorganisms such as uh, bacteria. You have gram negative and gram neg uh, sorry gram negative and gram positive bacteria, yeast, mold, and fungus. Without a preservative, this would go bad very quickly. Um, some ingredients, I know essential oils and, you know, vitamin E can extend the shelf life, but they do not inhibit the growth of, of bacteria and all those fun microorganisms that you need a microscope to see. So this, um, even though it's for, uh, dry hair, I thought it would be a bit thicker. It is pretty thin. I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if you can see, but it is pretty thin. It's very thin. Um, I actually like this. I think it's pretty decent. It doesn't have that strong of a scent. Um, I will not be repurchasing again simply because it does have the secret essential oil blend in it. Um, but that's simply my opinion. I would love to hear from you guys. I know that this deep treatment mask is popular with a lot of people, especially now that we're moving into the colder months of fall and winter. So let me know in the comments below if you have tried this mask by Shea Moisture, what you think of it, um, and what you think about Shea Moisture in general. I used to be a uh, very... Uh, positive uh, supporter of Shea Moisture, but the more I learn about the company and about the, the ingredients, I'm really moving away towards it. I am going to be reviewing all the products I have, but um, once those are used up, and it's probably going to take me a while, I will be repurchasing ones from different brands. So give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. I will see you guys later.